Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ina HM and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about five money mistakes you need to avoid in your 20s. The first money mistake you need to avoid in your 20s is taking on a lot of student debt. Now, I get it, college is very expensive and you're not alone. In fact, more than half of students in the US need to take loans in order to go through college because, well, it's unaffordable. Also, the average student loan debt is around $37,500. Imagine graduating college with a negative balance of $37,500. $500 and that's not even counting interest. Here's what you need to do in order to avoid this. Figure out what career path you want to take in life. If it does not require a college degree, then disregard college completely and go and do your thing. You do not need college in order to be financially successful. There's a lot of millionaires and successful people, financially successful people out there who did not go to college and there's plenty of them. However, if what you want to do in life does require a college degree, then you need to measure out whether it is worth it or not, whether the money you're going to pay at the university is actually worth the money you're going to be making after you graduate. You must avoid taking $60,000 worth of loans just so you can graduate and get a job that pays you $60,000 because that's going to be very, very hard to pay off and it's going to suck. That's plain and simple. It's just gonna suck. Also consider going to a community college for two years and then transfer to university because community colleges are way, 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 way cheaper than universities. And then at the end of the day, when you graduate, it's gonna be the same. Whether you go for four years at a university or start two years at a college and then transfer to university, it's gonna be the same exact degree. The advantage you're gonna have is that you're gonna have way less if any student loan debts versus your friends who actually took on a lot of debt in order to go for four years at this prestigious university. So minimize student loan debts, you'll thank me, your future self will thank you. The second money mistake you must avoid is buying an expensive car. Now I get it, you just worked through four years of college, it was tough, you deserve a reward, right? Wrong, so wrong. I do understand why people would want to buy nice expensive cars, I do love cars myself, however they are not the smartest financial decision, nor are they a smart financial decision at all. Cars depreciate over time, which means that they lose their value. And the brand new BMW M3 is gonna take you to the same place that a 2005 Honda Civic does. But the Honda Civic is way cheaper and it's not gonna lose its value as much because it's not brand new. Did you know that as soon as you buy a car from the dealership and drive it off the lot, it's gonna lose 15 to 20% of its value, which is crazy and pfft. instead of wasting all this money on that beautiful expensive car which is just as useful as the cheaper one use that money to invest in the business you've always wanted to start it, or use that money to travel or invest in the stock market so your money can grow and not lose its value because there are way cheaper alternatives than that car and also make sure you're not buying the car for the wrong reasons aka impressing other people if you want to buy it buy it for yourself although there are cheaper options and make sure you consider those before buying the expensive one the third money mistake you need to avoid is not investing as soon as possible slash not investing at all when you are in your 20s time is on your side which means that compound interest is also on your side i'll put that into perspective in order to reach 1 million dollars by the age of 65 you need to invest starting the age of 20 215 dollars every single month at an eight percent annual return. Comparing that to starting at the age of 30, in order to reach that $1 million at age 65, you need to invest $485 every single month. So 485 versus 215. This is 2.25 times more money you need to invest every single month. So if you start earlier, it's going to be way better for you and the return is going to be way way higher also if you are in your mid 20s and older that doesn't mean it's too late for you you can still invest and the best time to start investing is right now however you're just going to need more money in order to reach that 1 million dollars if that is your goal also when you're younger it's way easier to save money because you have less responsibilities and all you have to do in order to save let's say 100 dollars a month you just cook three times at home versus going out and eating for three times that's it that's all you gotta do the fourth mistake you need to avoid is not having credit card. Whether you want to buy a house, whether you want to buy a car, whether you want a lower deposit on your utility bills, you need a good credit in order for people to see that they can trust you, they can work with you, and that you're responsible with your money. If you don't have a credit card already, hit pause right now, go sign up for a credit card. You can use a beginner one such as the Apple credit card or Discover It card, and then come back to this video. I'll wait. Other than the fact that having good credit is very important, credit cards are awesome. They have so many benefits, such as travel insurance, buyer's protection, travel rewards, cash back, 
all that stuff. The best way to use a credit card is to treat it as a debit card, which means that you should only spend money that you have in the bank and that you can pay off because you don't want to carry a balance because if you do carry a balance from month to month and not pay your credit cards, number one, you're going to have to pay interest. Number two, your credit score is going to go down, which defeats the purpose and which is the opposite of what we're actually trying to achieve. So use it like a debit card, spend money you were going to spend anyway so you can build your credit and you can get the rewards that your credit card gives. The fifth money mistake you should avoid is not tracking your expenses what you measure improves no not that you need to identify what you're spending on and how much you're spending and you should adjust accordingly set a realistic system for yourself such as the 50 30 20 system that i use if you want to check it out it's linked in this video up here i explain it in detail it doesn't matter what system you use as long as you're disciplined and use something that is realistic for you and that's going to help you keep track of your expenses there are many apps that you can download on your phone that can help you track your expenses such as mint it's an app i use they're not sponsoring this video but i just use it because i like it it tracks your expenses and it helps you have an idea of what you're spending money on remember guys at the end of the day none of this is financial advice this is just my personal opinion Everyone values stuff differently. I have stuff that are more valuable to me than you, and you have stuff that are more valuable to you than me. Maybe it's buying an expensive car. Go ahead and do it, but make sure you know what the actual cost of it is. Make sure you actually calculate how much money this is gonna cost you if you buy a car versus if you invest it in the stock market for 20 years, for example. You're gonna see the difference and you're probably gonna decide not to buy that car. Also, you might be someone who values living in a nice place or in a nice city versus living with 12 roommates. That's also fine. I'm sure you'll figure out a way to make more money or to save on other things and spend more money on the things you value more. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you found this beneficial and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.